Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault once again. This is the Aprilia Storm 125. This is the most affordable Aprilia scooter that you can buy currently in our market. What all goodies do we end up losing to make this the most affordable Aprilia scooter? And does this dilute the overall performance of the scooter? Answers to all of that is what is coming up. So without further ado, let's get started with this review. So let's just give the top speed thing one more shot. Here we go. Let me crouch in. 70, 80. Hundred in no time. Woohoo! Oh my god. We are doing 120. <laughs> wow, what a scooter man, what a machine. This is more than a scooter. This is an absolute animal. Wow, the needle has no place to go. There's no place to go move further. That's how crazy intense this machine is. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I just hope the GoPro captured it properly. So this is the all new Aprilia Storm 125. We can't really say it's all new because it's more or less the same SR125 with a few changes and are you insane performance and a killer price tag. So let's start out by looking at the changes the Storm 125 brings along with it which has allowed Aprilia India to do some cost cutting and offer the scooter with a really competitive price tag. The most important change on the Storm 125 begins with the bold new graphics that make the scooter look funky, radical and new age the matte red color scheme along with the soft satin black finish on the handlebar housing lends the scooter a distinguished look of its own. Overall, the scooter looks sharp and sleek with perfectly sorted out aerodynamics that allow you to cut through the air like an arrow. Secondly, the headlamp has been revised. We now get a single barrel headlamp instead of a double barrel headlamp. Also, the headlamp gets a flicker free function which means the light throw stays consistent and stable even when you down the throttle. Now, this allows for better visibility at night. Next we have the massive and chunky 12 inch wheels. Yes, gone are the 14 inches and instead we have this beefy off-road pattern 12 inch tires with a class leading 120 by 80 tire up front and again a class leading 130 by 80 tire at the back. Now please note that these are tubeless tires. Now these fatter tires offer superb road grip and incredible high speed stability. The block pattern tires offer decent off-roading capabilities by offering greater confidence while riding on dirt road patches. Further aiding this is the longer wheelbase of 1365mm which ensures that the scooter stays planted even when doing speeds of over 120 km per hour. Apart from this, the flat floorboard along with the scooped out front panels offer decent legroom even for taller riders. The seat is made up of premium quality material but the foam feels slightly harder. You wouldn't mind that when you're doing triple digit speeds because that helps the bike stay planted. The under seat storage area is good enough to swallow an open face helmet easily. We also get a front hook which comes in handy to hook on bags and baggages. The speedo console is the classic analog one but who cares when the performance is stellar and completely on another level. The switch gear is of good quality and we do get a high beam flasher. Powering the Storm is an air-cooled SOHC 3-valve 124.7cc engine that puts out a max power of 9.6 PS at 7,250 RPM and a max torque of 9.9 newtons .9 at 6,250 RPM. Taking it out for a spin, I was left spinning all over the place. Now I know that the SR150 and the SR125 have become benchmarks when it comes to performance in their respective segments, but the Storm really justifies its name because its power delivery literally storms through the tarmac. 
open the throttle wide open and before you can even blink you're going past 90 km per hour effortlessly and then as the needle went past 120 km per hour which is the indicated max speed on the readout i just went crazy and completely lost it i mean what a monster what an animal this is an absolutely unforgiving machine a relentless force something that will continue to remain a benchmark at least for another decade and the best part is that the scooter feels rock solid even at that speed and the engine feels relaxed now hugely contributing here is the three valve engine that reduces friction loss improves the power output and also enhances the overall fuel economy the optimized cooling fluid dynamics prevent the engine from feeling strained even at higher rpms the tubular chassis with an open single cradle frame lends the scooter incredible stability Further aiding this is the suspension. We get 30 mm telescopic forks up front, which offer a superb front end feel. The rear mono shock supports the chassis perfectly well too, and the engine I believe was developed in collaboration by the Flash and the Quicksilver because it's just crazy fast. Now please understand that this is a purely performance oriented scooter so don't expect softer suspension the suspension is on the stiffer side which means comfort takes a back seat and your ride through the pothole ridden city streets won't be the smoothest the seat is also a bit harder so if comfort is your top priority then this isn't the scooter for you but if you want the best performance oriented scooter in our market currently then look no further because the Storm 125 is here to reduce the competition to dust talking about the brakes we get a 150 mm drum brake up front and a 140 mm drum brake at the back now i'm told by the aprilia officials that the 150 mm drum brake makes up for the lack of a front disc and after performing my standard braking test i stand convinced that the braking performance is indeed impressive even though we don't get a front disc and please note that we do get cbs which is similar to the combi brake system we see in honda scooters something that all manufacturers have adopted of late with different names so what this basically does is even though you end up applying only the rear brake the system engages the front brake automatically to reduce the overall stopping distance and offer better braking mechanism overall fuel tank capacity is 6.6 liters which offers better tank range now mileage wise i am told that the company claims around 50 kmpl but as per user feedback we can expect anything around 45 kmpl from the scooter in city conditions the introductory price for this insane machine is just rupees 65000 ex showroom pan india which is outstanding well i guess this wraps up my review of the storm 125 i just hope you found this video useful until next time this is dino saying ciao take care god bless and ride safe